everybody, this is Randy from Randy's Crafty Creations, and I wanted to come to you today with a video on how I made this coffee card and using the um, marble background again. I made another video using the marble background to make this flamingo card, and you guys liked that a lot, um, but I've ha still had a bunch of questions. This looks like the shaving cream technique um, where you fill up like a, a, a plastic tub with shaving cream and you drop in some ink from your um, Stampin' Up! ink refills and then you take your cardstock and you go over top of it. Well, that's quite messy and Stampin' Up! Uh, came out this in this new catalog with the marbled background and I just love it. I've used it for a bunch of things. Like I said, I did a video on the Tickled Pink card using this background stamp and now I used it uh, for this coffee. So when I was designing this coffee card last night, I was thinking to myself, well, this kind of looks like when you when you have your coffee and you put the cream in and you start to stir it, you get that look in the top of your your coffee, you know, before it all mixes in. And so I wanted to do that. And that's why I did that in the crumb cake. Um, and we're going to go ahead and make this card today. And I'm going to show you another way to use your to stamp your background stamp. So the colors we're going to use today are crumb cake, early espresso and whisper white. Okay. We're going to be using our Coffee Cafe stamp set and dies. I'm going to show you that. Mine mine is very loved. Very loved. Uh, I just taught three classes with this. Um, I love this set. When I opened up the new catalog, this was, was my pick for favorite right off the bat. So I was very excited to get it and start to use it. And it also comes with coordinating dies. And when you uh, cut this particular die right here, it leaves the little corrugated ridges that you see here. It leaves the little corrugated ridges in there, just like a cup koozie. Uh, the little hearts here I did cut on my silhouette machine. I just thought they were great because I, I, I do love coffee, but I didn't quite have a heart that size. So I cut that out on my silhouette machine, but everything else is, is done with the actual bundle and set the way we have it. There's also this little itty bitty coffee cup right here. And you say, wait a minute, there isn't a stamp for that because there's not. This little coffee cup right here coordinates with this little coffee cup on our Coffee Break Designer Series paper. So you could totally take that die, take that coffee cup, and cut these out that are already colored for you. I love this paper pack. Uh, so many different patterns. So many different patterns. Um, I just uh, finished up a class where we did a whole bunch of coffee cards and I used all the pattern paper. And um, hold on a second, I'll be right back. Let me go grab those for you before right. I make them. So these are some of the cards that we've been making. And this is with this coffee suite and the designer series paper. Lots of pretty colors in the paper. I found Berry Burst. I like Berry Burst now and early espresso together. Um, here's some of our doilies. Like that now, so this one I did in Garden Green. And cut it out and then the uh, cup koozie in the crumb cake and my daughter changed it up she really likes this piece of paper from the designer series stack and she made that one and then there's that one um, I just love this suite and anything in it so I wanted to show you those all right let me move this aside for a second all righty we are using early espresso ink and crumb cake ink. All right, we're gonna use our marble background stamp and I put the stamp on an F block. Now you can use the stamp on an F block. I'm gonna show you how. You can put it in one of your stamp presses if you have a stamp press, whatever works for you. I mean, it, it's big, so I wouldn't recommend stamping it this way because you might drop it. So I'm gonna show you a different way to stamp. Uh, for our, our coffee stamps, we're going to use a D, a C, and an A for our little coffee beans. All right. Some whisper white paper. And that's what we're going to stamp our coffee on. Um, I When I made this card last night, uh, while I was, <laughs> when I woke up in the middle of the night last night, I decided that I want to think, I think I want to try a doily on it. So we're going to use some of our delicate doilies today and see how that looks on that card. So let me set those aside. All right, I was playing last night with colors. I stamped it in the early espresso first, and I decided on the crumb cake. So today what we're gonna do, is I'm not gonna waste this piece of paper, 
when we ink up our stamp, I'm going to go ahead and use the back side. That's the great thing about our Whisper White. I see how you can't see through it, so I can go ahead and stamp it and still use this. We're going to use Early Espresso cardstock, and this piece is cut four by five and a quarter. Our Whisper White that we're going to stamp on is cut three and three quarters by five because I wanted to have that double layered look that I have in this one. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, and I'm going to, the, oh, we're going to stamp our coffee cups on this one, so I'll be back to that in a second. But um, let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my background stamp here, and it's, it's pretty big. So what I'm going to do is I am going to ink it up. Let me move this into the camera. I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to do it upside down, okay? So I'm going to take my ink, and I'm going to ink my stamp, not stamp my ink, okay? So you can see that it's covering. And I'm getting some good coverage with the ink all over. I just wanted to make sure I have the whole thing. Yes, the stamp is bigger than my paper, but I wanted to make sure I didn't miss any areas. So I did that in the crumb cake. All right, I'm going to take my, my piece of cardstock, and again, my Whisper White. I stamped it um, or inked it in a early espresso yesterday. But so I'm just going to go ahead and lay it down. All right, and I'm going to smooth it with my fingers. And then this way we know I'm not going to drop my stamp. I'm not going to mess up my background. And again, you can use stamp press. There's several out there on the market that are very good for it. But I wouldn't recommend picking up the block and stamping with it. Isn't that pretty? I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again. I have a, another one here. Sorry, watch, excuse my arms. I have another one here. So let's go ahead and ink it up again. And let me show you that one more time. Okay, so that's all nice and inked up. I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And let's... i got to make sure I get the edges better this time. All right, and just smooth it all over. I think I've got it. All right, there we go. Look at that. I like the shaving cream look. I really, really do. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I want to... I seem to have missed a spot, and it's probably because I'm using the back side of the paper, so it's got that little cut edge. But you know what? It's not a big deal. We can fix that. We can fix that, or we can trim it down. So, perfect. Love it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move this over... Um, I am using a stamp chamois or baby wipe to clean this off because it's very big, but normally I use my stamp and scrub with my stamp and mist to clean my my regular size stamps, but that one's a little big. So let's go ahead and set that aside. All right, we're gonna set these aside. And now on here, this is one of our photopolymer sets. So I'm gonna grab my coffee cup. And the coffee cup's kind of flimsy, kind of like the jars and jar of love. So if you lay it down and pick it up with the block, it'll hold its shape. Okay? If you lay the stamp on the block, it may be misshapen, and then it's not going to fit um, inside the dies. My lid fits perfect on a C-size block. And my thanks a latte, I'm actually going to use a B instead of an A. I pulled the A out for my coffee beans, but I'm going to use the B instead of the A. There we go. All right. Wonderful. So I'm going to stamp all of this in early espresso. Okay. So let's go ahead and do our coffee cup first. Same thing. I'm going to ink my stamp. Press down gently, and I'm using the Stamp and Pierce mat since I'm using a photopolymer stamp set and it doesn't have the rubber on it. I use my Stamp and Pierce mat, and then I know I'm going to get a good impression every time. If I would ink my stamp evenly, and that's the good thing about the photopolymers, you can look in there and you can see that. Nice. All right. Thanks a lot. There we go. 
Wonderful. All right. Let's go ahead and set this stuff aside because I want to bring over the big shot. So I will clean these stamps later. Just go ahead and set them aside. Oh. Wonderful. Let me go ahead and move my stamp and pierce mat and grab my big shot. So here's our, here's our big shot. So mine is pink. Mine's an older model. As soon as it breaks, I'll get the pretty black Stampin' Up! one. Um, but I've had this for a number of years, so I haven't converted yet because there's nothing wrong with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay it on the platform. And I have our magnetic platform. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the dies. I store mine together. It's stuck. There we go. I store mine together. So if I've got the stamp set... I um, put them in these plastic sleeves. It's easier for me to store. But even if they were in the case, I just put them inside. And this, then this way the set is all together for me. All right, so I'm going to take my coffee cup lid. I'm going to lay it on. We're going to cut all this out at the same time. Okay, I'm going to lay that on there. I'm going to get my cup. I haven't put this on um, a magnetic sheet yet. I also will take them out and put it on a magnetic sheet. But like I said, I got the set. And then I just taught three classes with it, so... Today, when I'm cleaning things up and putting things away and getting ready to pack my my craft bag for my next um, set of classes, I will put it on the magnetic sheet. So, okay. And inside here, too, is a little itty-bitty layering oval. And this way we can cut out our Thanks a Latte. I love, love, love. You can buy this in a bundle, and if you buy it in a bundle in this catalog, you'll save 10%, You or you can buy the pieces separately. <clears throat> you can totally do so much with it, with this set, without having the framelits. Um, but it's a great deal to get that extra 10% off. All right, so we put our pl cutting plate on. We go ahead and run it through. All right. And we've got our our coffee cup our lid and our thanks a latte so we go ahead and put those there and i'll set all this aside let me drop this in here i don't want to lose anything and my my table for videoing um, is much smaller than my crafting table but this is where the light works so I have to totally move things when I'm done. So I apologize for disappearing on you. All right, so there is that. I already have our cup cozy cut out of our early espresso. Um, I'm getting ready to go to an event where I'll be sitting for a while. So I have a little baggie of parts all packed and ready to go so that um, I have something to do. So I cut a bunch of these yesterday and got it all ready to just assemble. That's, that's my way of mass producing. And I also went ahead and I took the little coffee beans, and that's why I was going to use block A. I took the cute little coffee beans from the stamp set. And dipped them in the ink and then stamped them inside the heart. Isn't that cute? So you're probably saying, why are my stamps pink? Well, they, um, they're dirty. They're loved a lot. Um, and, and they stain. You know what? It doesn't affect anything. I can still totally see through. I was able to see through my lid to see that I didn't have it fully inked before I stamped it. So don't worry about it. if they stain. It's fine. Just use our Stampin' Mist um, with our stamp cleaner. And uh, you can clean that up very easily. All right. So I have my card base. And I said it was three and three quarters by five. But there are no mistakes in crafting. So since I didn't get that, that edge, I do want to trim that off just a little bit. We'll use my Stampin' Trimmer. And that's just because it's the little things like that that just bug me just a bit. Come on. So mine will be a little bit, a little bit smaller, and that'll be okay. Except that I'm using the scoring blade. So how about if I try using the cutting blade? There we go. Much better. 
All right. And let's cut a little bit more here. Perfect. All right. So now, see, you don't see that. That is the. All right. So I said I wanted to try a doily. So let us see. If I put a doily on there and then build my coffee cup, I think I want to try that this time. So let's go ahead and adhere that down with some of our snail adhesive. I'm trying to think. You know Can I ink the edges with my doily? I'm going to ink the edges of my doily just for a second, just so it has a little bit of that coffee stained look. And I um, had this ink dauber handy on my table for when I did my ready form video technique. Um, I made one in Christmas cards. And if you want to look down, I can link that in the bottom here. But this has a little bit of um, a little bit of green and some brown in there. Let's see. How is that? How is that? Or do I want my white doily? Mm, I think I want the white doily. I think I do. I think I do. Okay. Let's go ahead and adhere it white side. White side up. So I'm just going to put some snail adhesive in the center. I'm going to put my doily in the center of my card. All right, great. All right, so now I'm gonna take my snail adhesive and I'm gonna put it on the very edge of my coffee cup because I wanna put my lid on my coffee cup. Because I wanna end up pop using my dimensionals and pop the whole thing up. So I'm gonna put my lid on there. Perfect. All right, let me get my cup koozie. Hold on, I say perfect, but it wasn't. It wasn't straight. Sorry, I have a little bit of OCD when it comes to that stuff. I apologize. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and put some snail on our cup koozie. And we will stick that on there. And if you lay it down, you can see about where it goes. Okay, there's my cup koozie. This time I'm going to put the thanks a latte on my cup koozie. All right, and I'm going to grab a dimensional. So we have our regular size dimensionals, and then we have, in our new catalog, our cute little mini dimensionals. See how small those are? That's fun for something really tiny. I'm not going to use those for this, because this is a fine size, but if you're doing something really, really tiny and detailed, um, you don't have to sit and cut these now, which is kind of nice. All right, so I'm going to put this on here. Thanks a latte. And these are my customer thank you cards that I will send to each one of you. So for anybody that places an order with me, I will send you a handmade thank you card because I really appreciate you being one of my customers. All right. I am going to go ahead and mount this. I'll get back to that in a second. On my piece of early espresso that is cut four by five and a quarter. All right. My card base is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I already scored that. Let me go ahead and take my bone folder and just crease that, which is nice. All right, now I'm gonna put this piece on next. So I don't know if I'm gonna use my, my heart on this one. We will see in a second. All right, I wanted to try this with the doily. Nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop my coffee cup up with some dimensionals. So I'm going to use one, two. I want it to be nice and strong because, like I said, I'm going to send these two in the mail um, for any customer that places an order. doesn't matter what size order. At randycollins.stampinup.net, you'll get a handmade thank you card from me. Um, also, in the month of July 2017, we have bonus days. So if you spend $50 or more, I, and let me rephrase. If you spend in $50 increments, $50 or more, you will receive 
five bonus dollars in an email from Stampin' Up that you can spend on an order in August. So, um, love bonus days. The other thing that Stampin' Up is doing in the month of July for anybody that signs up to be a demonstrator, and you can sign up to be a demonstrator. I'd love to have you on my team. You can sign up to be a demonstrator as a hobby where you just simply uh, buy for yourself, get your 20% discount, and, you know, just have fun. Or you can sign up to be a demonstrator and, um, and join my team and do it as a business. It's totally up to you. I love all my demonstrators the same. Um, my team is growing well, and I'm very happy, and we have lots of people on there, and we have lots of fun. Um, but when you join Stampin' Up! in the month of July, in addition to the $99 worth of merchandise that you get to pick yourselves in your kit, I mean, how cool is that? You get to pick all your own stuff in your kit, which is why it's great for a hobbyist. You will also get, as a bonus from Stampin' Up!, you will get Sneak Peek. You will get the Carols of Christmas stamp set that is going to be available in our holiday catalog. Love it. It's red rubber, but it's a clear mount stamp, so you would mount it on acrylic blocks. Okay, you've got these two nice big sentiments, some little snowflakes, little holly, some ornaments. Great stamp set. You get that for free. Uh, in addition, you get our paper snips. Love, our, love, love our paper snips. You get a snail adhesive, which you just saw me using. You get a bone folder, which, which again, you saw me using because I was creasing my um, cards. Okay. You also get two D-size blocks. So you get two of these, this size right here, the D-size block in your kit. So you want the, the, the coffee stamp set? You know, order the bundle, put it in your kit. You get the blocks. You can craft as soon as, as, soon as your kit arrives. You can start making stuff. So um, huge, huge value as a bonus. So again, you pick what's in your kit and Stampin' Up! is also going to send you um, these things in your kit. It'll add in. So you can go to randycollins.stampinup.net, join my team, click that. If you have any questions, please email me at uh, randycollins.247 at gmail.com and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. So again, let's see, do I want to put the heart on here? I don't know that I want the heart at all. But I like the doily idea and I wanted to give it a try. So, again, thanks for watching. This is Randy from Randy's Crafty Creations and have a great day.